So today I have an Ikari makeup look for you guys. This is also called the hangover makeup look in Japan, which is very popular right now. This is a very simple makeup look to do, and I use very little products for this look, so please keep watching. So for this look, I decided to use a BB cushion from Etude House because I wanted a very natural look. Then I'm going to be taking the Naked 2 palette and the color Chopper, and I'm going to be placing this onto my eyelid and up to the crease. But I'm not using an eyeshadow brush because A, I wanted this to be simple, and B, I was a little bit too lazy. <laughs> so I'm going to be taking the color Foxy, and I'm going to be placing this into the crease. And this is just to blur out any harsh lines and to soften the color. Then we're going to be taking the color Booty Call. And this is optional, you can put it into your inner corners, it just gives it a little bit more dimension, but my camera doesn't really pick it up, so that's optional. Taking this brown eyeliner pencil from the face shop, we're just going to be lining our waterline. And what you want to do at the end is extend your eyeline just a little bit. So taking your favorite mascara, I'm going to be using the Brow Lash EX1. This one has a nice little tiny brush with it. And I'm going to be going into my lower lash line first. And I'm starting with my lower lash line because if you start with the upper, you tend to smudge your mascara onto your eyelid. Then taking my favorite Panasonic eyelash curler. This one's a heated and rotating one. If you have really hard to curl lashes, maybe you should try this instead of a traditional lash curler. Then taking your eyebrow pencil, I'm using this one from the face shop. It has a nice angle to it and it doesn't draw on really harshly, so it's fairly natural. I'm just going to be filling in my brows and I'm not going to extend my brow really much or anything. I'm just going to follow the natural line. And then taking the brush at the end and me brushing it out. Taking this lip color from the face shop, I'm going to be using it as a cheek color and a lip color. So I'm going to be swirling this and dotting it onto my cheeks. And I just place three dots and I'm going to be blending this out upwards to underneath my eye bags actually. Anyways, so same for the other side. It kind of looks weird because I have really dark circles, but and again, I'm going in with a little bit more because I want it to be a little bit more intense. You can go as intense or unintense as you want. And I'm placing the leftover onto my nose bridge. So next I'm taking this candy doll blush, and the reason why I'm using a powder blush is so I can set the cheek look. And this will make sure they last longer, dust off any excess, and yeah, just place it wherever you put that blush. And this one actually intensifies it, so if you don't really want an intense look, use a lighter colored blush. Taking that same lip color from the face shop, we're just going to be putting that onto our lips so we have a more lively look. Even though this is hangover makeup, you still want to look alive. <laughs> then we're going in with this lip gloss from Castle Dew. Again, this is optional, you don't have to do this. I just want a little bit more color to my look. So this one has sparkles and it's like a nice brighter pink. Placing that on my lips and you're basically done. So I just put on a flower crown because I thought this matched my look. And actually, this look was super popular in Japan when it went in May. It's still super popular now, but um, the girls there actually do it way more intense than I do. It depends on your preference, really. So if you like this look, please give it a thumbs up. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. And if you want to see more of my videos, then please subscribe. Other than that, thank you for watching this video. See you soon. Bye-bye.